Hey guys, 2018 has been a year where I've decided to try a lot of different things. I'm trying to make a lot more YouTube videos, I'm reading more books, I've started meditating and I also turned vegan. And for this week I'm experimenting on another thing. Inspired by the H3 podcast, I also decided that I'm gonna go offline from social media for a whole week and see what happens how my life will magically change. As someone who loves wasting time on their phones and all days are spent like this, I decided that I should try it and see what happens. Shit. I wanted to throw it in the couch, but it fell. So I deleted Facebook and I deleted Instagram because somehow those two spend most of my time because for unknown reasons, I keep going there. I don't have Twitter on my phone because I never use it and the snap story thing, I never even joined because who cares? I get WhatsApp because my family is there so I keep in contact and my closest friends as well for with people who I actually wanna talk to. Facebook was the biggest problem because I hate Facebook so much but somehow I keep complaining about all the stupid content there because I keep going there. I would say 90% of the things I see on Facebook are just utterly stupid. But just like a typical crackhead, I just keep going for my drugs. I never deleted my accounts, they're still there, I just deleted the apps, so it's harder for me to access them. I didn't have as big of a problem with Instagram, yet whenever sponsored content appears with people who wanna show how great their life is, it mostly made me sad after using it, because I would compare my life to everyone else's and that's just stupid so Instagram had to be gone as well and I kept the creator studio because I just want to see if you guys are watching my videos and a lot of you do so thank you so much so some people at work and my closest friends saw the posts on Facebook and Instagram that I'm deleting both of those apps and just asked me that seemed like a crazy person in the 21st century I just told him hey I'm taking a break from social media and for some people, it is shocking. When I was watching the H3 podcast, I was thinking, could I do it? I don't think I could because first of all, it's a whole week. So w what if I miss out on some stuff? What if I don't see the cool Instagram pictures and I don't know, whatever I would make fun of on Facebook? Because that was part of my daily routine. I would wake up, make some coffee, and then just sit on my phone, swiping on Facebook and Instagram. Who liked my pictures? Oh my god, I'm late to work. Then at work, when I would have my lunch, I would take my phone, swipe some Facebook, swipe Instagram, and oh my god, I didn't even eat my lunch, I have to go back. Then I would come home after a long day, and I feel tired, I just lay in my bed, take out my phone, and... Oh my god, I forgot to make dinner, I have to go to bed. I even downloaded an app on my old iPhone that was tracking how much time I spend on my phone, and I did not like the results because it usually was minimum two hours and up to five hours on my phone. So if I have 24 hours a day, I spend eight hours sleeping, that leaves me to 16 hours. If I have 16 hours left, I need to work for nine hours counting the public transport and my lunch. That leaves me with seven hours. If I spend five hours a day just looking at my phone, that means I have two hours to eat and what? That's it? Obviously not every day I would spend five hours, but still, two to five hours is quite a long time if I don't gain anything out of it. In the beginning of this year, I made this video where it was all my resolutions for this year. I wanted to read more books, I wanted to work out probably, I don't know, I don't remember. So last year I also said I want to read more books, but I only read half of this book and this year I read the rest of the book and like what? six months now but since i'm not spending that much time online i managed to read this book in just two weeks which is pretty cool reading a book in two weeks is super fast for me and i'm really proud so i'm ready to read the next book so my resolution for that is happening i'm reading more books so yay another really weird thing that i noticed about this whole experiment is how often i want to take my phone in my hand to check up on things and then I take my phone and nothing's there. There's nothing really to check up on. So I just put it back down. But it made me realize how often I have this urge 
that I don't even realize, but I just keep taking my phone just in case something is there. Sometimes I would just take my phone in my hand and look at it because it's been a couple of minutes, so probably there's new stuff on Facebook, right? But then I reminded myself, hey, I don't have Facebook, I don't have Instagram, so I just put it down. And then you would hear older generations, your mom and grandma saying, oh my God, you're so addicted to your phone. And it sounds so lame, like, fuck off, I'm not addicted. But then again, it feels a bit like addiction if you have this urge to keep on checking your phone. I don't know. Since I deleted all that crazy stuff, my new routine is I would wake up, make my coffee and drink it. And I would have a lot more time to wake up and think of the stuff that I would wear today, what I have to do at work and, and just generally have a lot more time to wake up in the morning. If you wake up early, but then you take your phone in your hand, the time goes super fast. Now I'm at work, it's my lunch time. I actually have more time to eat and not be in a rush. Then I take my phone, oh, nothing's there. I put my phone away and I feel like I just wanna talk to my colleagues about stuff because there's nothing on my phone and maybe I should socialize. But then I look around of all the few people who are eating with me and all of them are on their phones. So then naturally, like a human being, I start talking and make up a conversation about how their days are going, what crazy stuff is happening, right? What I heard on the news. And then I keep on talking with them and make new conversations because I'm almost bored because I'm not spending time on my phone. And then everyone's like, why is this guy talking so much? I want to concentrate on my stuff on my phone. And then I'm like, okay, so this is the new reality. This one thing that bothered me about not having social media might not affect a lot of you guys, but for you guys whose work is associated with social media, this might be troubling. When I posted my new video on YouTube, it automatically posted on Twitter, Google Plus, and on Facebook. It's not a personalized post, it's just saying, hey, this guy uploaded a new video. And I didn't put it on Instagram, I didn't put it on my Facebook account or my second Facebook account for just videos. And I noticed that on my last video, even though I really enjoyed it and I actually tried on the thumbnail, it only got this much views, which was a tad disappointing, but at least I know how my audience works. So that's interesting to, to understand. So what about future? It's only been one week, so it hasn't been the biggest change in my life. So I'm definitely not giving up and I'm not putting those apps back on my phone. I'm really enjoying my time offline and I still wanna continue and read more books and try a lot of different more things. And if I wouldn't waste so much time on social media, maybe I can make more videos. I don't know. I might use both of those social networks just so that I can post my videos and some of you guys who don't come into YouTube could watch them so that I would log on, post my videos and just go out, not spending any time there. I really don't wanna sound like I think that all social media is bad and everything online is bad and everyone who uses it is not as enlightened as I am and they're sinners or whatever. I just think for me personally, I used it too much and probably some of you guys use it too much as well. So for me, the main two things was to evaluate how much time I actually spend there and maybe limit it a little bit. And the second thing was trying to understand what was I gaining from it or what was I losing without it. So now that we know that social media is really bad for you, add me on Instagram, uh, Subscribe to my channel, leave a like so that you would make me feel a lot better and share this video on your Facebook page and uh, retweet on Twitter and uh, in Insta like it or watch my Insta stories. And, uh, and of course, go to your Google Plus accounts and I don't really know what Google Plus does. So go there and click a button for something. Actually, do you want to know what you guys think about this topic? Would you be able to leave social media? And which one do you think is the worst one for you? I want to make a discussion down below. Okay, that's it for this video. Bye. Remember to like and share.